what's going on guys welcome to another video and today like any other day another new app sheet video so before i want to start i just want to say thank you to suhaimi nosman and mohammad hadri for joining the membership program thank you very much i appreciate your support and of course to all happy holidays and a happy new year so for today's video is rather a continuation of our crm series which is part three uh, we'll be discussing on sales data so without further ado let's check it out all right guys so the first thing for sales we would want to have the supplier table so as you can see i've done it already so we have supplier id supplier name product name and category so this is for us to actually handle multiple suppliers in one uh, database then we have products so of course the types of products that we are selling to our customers or clients here we have uh, product id product name category price description stock quantity supplier id so again this will relate back to our supply table the image of the product added date and last updated and last but not least we have the sales data so this is the table that where we want to record our sales so we have sales data id date salesperson id so salesperson id uh, Going back to our previous video where we relate back to our sales team. Then contact ID, similar to sales team but going back to our clients in contacts. Product ID is the products that we have listed in the table. The amount of product that we are selling. Then here we have the sale amount, sale type, KPI and notes. Again, this may vary to your case i'm just putting out there so that you can see whatever works for you so now once we have all these three ready going back to the crm app as you can see i've added it already in the app so if you haven't simply add new data here and of course select the tables that you added <coughs> oh sorry tables that you created so again for products running through again so we have the product name or category i'm just putting here physical or digital then we have the price of the product itself then we have description stock quantity so for supplier id similar to my previous videos you can reference it back to the supplier table image added date and last updated for supply, a supplier, similar to uh, products, we have the supplier ID, the name, product name, category. And of course, in sales data, is the com combining multiple tables where we have the salesperson ID. I set it as reference. And of course, going back to sales team table, contact ID, reference it back to context table and product id referencing it back to products table and the rest is much less easy and of course for sale amount is the amount or total amount of that particular transaction so i'm actually taking the quantity times with the price of the of the product Therefore, it becomes the sale amount. Now, the formula I'm using here, again, this may vary depending on your case, but basically, what I did is the quantity here times with the product ID's um, price where it will search based on the product ID that is being used for this particular transaction back in products table once we have the match between two product ids then it will extract the price 
I'll show you, you later how it works. So basically, this is more or less the way how I did it for sale amount. Then we have sale type. Of course, for me, it's either new, repeat, or subscription sale. KPI, similar to that. Customer acquisition or repeat sales. Notes for your reference. So now in the app, as you can see here, in my supplier, I have already created a supplier, which is uh, Appster Go selling hoodie. And in products, let's add one product right away. So let's say product name is uh, hoodie. It's a physical product and it's 50 ringgit. 50 ringgit is equivalent to, I would say, $12. Or eleven dollars more or less so hoodie for two guys stock quantity we have 50 so for supply id i'm selecting upstairs go since that's the supply that we have then we have image was the product image of, of this hoodie and we let's save it so it's a 50 ringgit hoodie so now we have supplier we have products let's create some sales so going to sales tab so let's add a new sale so then salesperson id is the sales team that we created based on our previous video which is alan rick and our customer aris and the product is hoodie so now as you can see sale amount is zero and let's say Aris bought five five would result in 250 let's check it out so yeah it's 250 so it's a repeat sale and let's put it here repeat sales bought for cold weather And let's save it. And there you have it. So we have this Alan Rick on today, it's 26th of December, selling it to Aris, which is a hoodie, five of them, and it's 250 ringgit, or 10 or 12 dollars for that matter. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Do like and subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next video in the comment section down below. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy holidays. Take care. Bye-bye.